Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well, today we have a really quick video on how to cure zombie villagers. These guys, like the one behind me right here, will spawn randomly in the world. And uh, he was down in the caves below our zombie farm and uh, with a whole bunch of other zombies that I was dispatching. And he just happened to pick up a dropped carrot. And, you know, when zombies pick up stuff like that, they will not despawn, so you can always throw them blocks and see if they pick it up, or helmets, and they'll put them on as armor, and if they do that, you don't need to name tag them. So this guy, you know, he's he likes his little carrot, and he's carrying that around and staring at it like he's hungry, but he just wants brains instead. So, if curing a zombie villager sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, so... Let's go check this out here. And I, I put him down here with the zombie spawner farm because we have tons and tons of rotten flesh. And I'm gonna make this guy into a cleric. So he should, once we you know change him back into his villager form, um, he will find this little workstation over here and wanna be a cleric and start working and we can start trading him rotten flesh. And we'll just keep on trading rotten flesh with this guy whenever we come down here. So let's go ahead and get started. I brought all the ingredients down here. I made this little setup over in the corner. And um, what we have here is our brewing stand. And this we picked up actually from a village, but you can make them pretty easily with a, uh, a blaze rod and uh, three cobblestone blocks. But we don't need to do that right now. Um, we will go ahead and make fermented spider eyes is our first ingredient that we'll need. So. We'll grab a brown mushroom, one of our spider eyes, and some of our sugar cane. And we'll come over to our crafting table over here and just make this. So you, first thing you do is you turn the sugar cane into sugar like that. And then you can drop these ingredients down anywhere in the crafting table and it makes a fermented spider eye. And that little gross ingredient is crucial for making a potion of weakness. So we have water bottles. Um, water bottles I got from our AFK fishing farm. Um, well, the way you can craft this is if you have three blocks of uh, glass and a crafting table, like block of glass, block of glass, block of glass, you make bottles. And then you just hit the bottles in here into a water source and they fill up and that becomes bottles of water. We will also need um, a blaze rod that we are gonna convert into blaze powder because this is how we end up, see, blaze rod, blaze powder. This is how we power our brewing stand, like so. Let's click on here. And you put that right here. See the icon looks just like that. And that fills this up here, and that'll be the, the fuel source for brewing. So let's go ahead and stick our water bottles down here where the water bottles go, and then our fermented spider eye up here. We are making a potion of weakness and watch the magic as it takes place. It is almost done. We will have three of those. Okay, so here's our weakness potion. Now we have a couple choices that we can do. Uh, we will need to change this into a splash potion of weakness, but we can also make the weakness potion last longer. So if you use glowstone dust with a potion, it makes it more potent. If you use redstone with a potion, it makes it last longer. And if you use gunpowder with a potion, it makes it into a splash potion. So let's go ahead and make it last a little bit longer so we can see that effect. This doesn't matter uh, when you're curing zombies, but you know, it's uh, just something cool to, to observe and see. And so now instead of a minute and a half, it now works for four minutes. And if we use gunpowder in here, you'll see it's starting to take effect. And this will actually change the look of the bottles themselves so you know it's a splash potion. And there you go. See how the bottle changed its shape? This is now a splash potion of weakness. So we're, we're in good shape here with that. Now the next thing we will need is a golden apple. So I brought an apple down here and I have some, uh, actually two apples, and I have enough gold ingots to surround both those two. So let's go back over to our crafting table. You put the apple in the middle and you surround it with gold ingots. Let's go ahead and collect those. So now we actually have enough to cure two zombies if we wanted to. 
Now, if you tried to feed this guy the golden apple right now, it wouldn't do anything, it wouldn't work. Um, so what we need to do is we need to make him weak. And so we're gonna throw one of the splash potions at him. It's always good to do this from a distance because they will hit you as well. So we'll go ahead and toss that over the fence. Do we get him? Yep, he's got the particle effects. And let's go ahead and give him a golden apple. Look at that, starts shaking uncontrollably like that. Now, I, I've actually already cured a zombie villager um, in this game already, and that gives you the uh, achievement of Zombie Doctor. So we won't see that achievement pop up, but when the first time you cure a zombie villager, uh, you do get that achievement. So we'll just wait here until this guy is done shaking and shivering and turns into a good old villager, and we'll uh, get him set up in his little workstation. And there you have it, our little zombie guy turns into a villager. Now this guy is gonna have really good trades for us once he uh, picks up this profession and becomes our little, our little cleric back here in the corner. So let's go ahead and take this protective barrier down here so he can go ahead and have his little place and his workstation. And there he goes, he's a cleric now. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you've liked what you've seen and would like to see more from the dad's guy in the future, Click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And if you've learned something about, you know, turning a zombie villager into a regular villager, uh, leave a like. It really helps the channel grow. Until next time, bye for now.